Hi, I think English students should be required to speak English all the time. Do you want to give a recommendation or an opinion about this? Stay and learn how. Giving recommendations and opinions. When you think something is a good idea. Cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. People ought to be required to end parties at midnight. When you think something is absolutely necessary. Laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms. People mustn't be permitted to park motorcycles on the sidewalks. A rule has to be made to require cycling lanes on city streets. Something has got to be done to stop littering. In this lesson, we will use models plus B plus past infinitive to give recommendations. When we give opinions, sometimes these opinions might be stronger than other times. When we think something is a good idea, we use should and ought to. And when we think something is absolutely necessary, we use must and have to or have got to. So if I present these two sentences to you, are you able to understand the difference? Number one, cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Number two, cyclists must be required to wear a helmet. Very good. The first sentence is an opinion, whereas sentence number two is absolutely necessary. It's pretty much a law. Hi. I want you to give me one reason for and one against about the following ideas. The students should not be allowed to translate or speak their native language in class. Type your reasons on our discussion box. All right. How are you, Lillian? Fine. Thank you. I, I was watching and I said, why we are projecting the the video and I watch the hour and I said no I am in, in a good in a good time yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. Late. <laughs> you're on time no problem no problem <laughs> how was your your vacation pretty nice um we went out with the family and we did many different activities we went to different uh, towns in El Salvador so it was nice. And what about you? Very good. It was great for me, too, because I worked. <laughs> you worked? Yes. I oh. I work in tourism. So I drive in different kind of places here in El Salvador. <laughs> yes. So uh, did you have to work every day? Yeah, I only worked Monday, Friday, Saturday, and and Sunday. Okay, only three days. Only three days. Okay, not bad, not bad. Good, Rosa. How about you? How was your vacation? Mm. Um, I'll be feeding my mother. What, Rosa? Um, um, I'll be going to be feeding my mother. My mother. Okay, so uh, is no go, is went. Remember verbs in the past? I went to visit my mother. Yeah. Yes, go Rosa. Um, my mother, my mother, um, um, so only, um, uh, only. Please explain again, Rosa, your mother what? Only.
only that mother uh I work uh I work I work uh I work Monday mm. Tuesday uh Oh, when day? Um, so, <coughs> so, um, so alone with my baby, um, because. My my grandmother, um, My mother, my grandmother had the oper operation. Um, and also my, um, my husband, I work, uh, and also the, Uh, my husband and also I work at the and also my work at that date. Okay, Rosa, thank you very much. Rosa, you need to practice a lot more speaking in the day, practice speaking in English, thinking in English, and we need to improve your fluency is the fluency is very difficult to understand when you are speaking. Um, it's almost impossible to, to, to hear you or understand what you are saying. One of the techniques to help you is in when you are at home, practice making audios with your cell phone. Take your cell phone and answer the questions or practice what you want to say in the day. Don't think in Spanish. Try to think about it in English. That way you can get better and more fluent. Okay, Rosa? Okay. Good. Remember, try to use the verbs in the past, always. All right. So I'm glad that we are back. We only have today and then three more classes. And then we finish this level. The important is that we're going to be taking a look at giving recommendations for today. So here we can see giving recommendations and they have and opinions. They made a mistake here, but it should be and opinions. Okay, so the first thing is, of course, we just came back from vacation. So with your partners, what places did you like? What places you didn't like? What places are necessary for tourists to visit or food for people to try? Okay, so the first thing is with our partners, think about, give um, suggestions, recommendations, obligations of places to eat, um, places to go, things to see, or things to do, okay? Okay, teacher. Excellent. Gladys, you okay?
Hello, Gladys. Gladys. Hello, teacher. Hi. I see you're having problems with your internet, huh? Actually, I, I was connect, but... It... The connection was broke. So. Yeah, I saw that that you connected and then disconnected. That's why I said, oh, maybe Gladys has some problem with her internet. Yes, I, I was talking with Lilian and... Mm -hmm. and it's gone. <laughs> uh-huh, and then I saw you disappear for a long time and I said, oh, I, I thought, oh, maybe no electricity or something. 
No, yeah, that is because the the internet is is a telital. So the when there are many clouds, there the connection is gone. Uh, it's a little difficult then. Okay, so tell me, Gladys, what is your opinion uh, for the places, the vacation? Uh, what do you recommend, or what places do you think were good? The places what what I think is good should be family places like uh, mountain, uh, restaurant mountain in in the mountain. Uh, the beach, I I don't think I don't think so because is too many risk. I I think for the kids. Mm -hmm. And there are there are people that draw, drink, and they put on on risk the uh, the people around of them. Uh, but uh, personally, I prefer a stay at home. Okay. On vacation. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you think it's too dangerous? Yeah. Yes, it's too dangerous. And, and the news can can say the the most of the the accident. Okay, all right. Yeah. Uh -huh. You saw get, a, uh, a lot of accidents. Las personas que se ahogan? Drown, the people that drown. The people that drown and there are many things that I can't say, but because okay. I, I a person that paranoid, maybe. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Okay, the idea is to be able to express yourself. So in this moment, we're going to watch the video again to help us remember what vocabulary and what things we use when we are giving opinions and recommendations. This is to help us before we do the exercise. Okay. Hi, I think English students should be required to speak English all the time. Do you want to give a recommendation or an opinion about this? Stay and learn how. Giving recommendations and opinions. When you think something is a good idea. Cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. People ought to be required to end parties at midnight. When you think something is absolutely necessary. So, if you see, the first part is ideas, is your opinion, okay? Oh, it's a good idea or it's a bad idea. We use the words should, shouldn't, and ought to. Okay? What are the three words that we use? Should, shouldn't, and out. Correct. Ought to. Here, ought to. So ought we use, to. Uh -huh. should, shouldn't, and ought to. Those are my opinion. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a bad idea. Are the idea. Those are the words. Now, in the next one is necessary. It's like an obligation. For when you think something is an obligation, we use the words must, mustn't, has to or has got. Laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms. People mustn't be permitted to park motorcycles on the sidewalks. A rule has to be made to require cycling lanes on city streets. 
Something has got to be done to stop littering. In this lesson, we will use models plus B plus past infinitive to give recommendations. When we give opinions, sometimes these opinions might be stronger than other times. When we think something is a good idea, we use should and ought to. And when we think something is absolutely necessary, we use must and have to or have got to. So if I present these two sentences to you, are you able to understand the difference? Number one. Okay, let's look at the two sentences. Read them and tell me what is the difference. The model, should and must. Good, and what is the idea of should cutting? It's like an idea. I think is good or a great place, for example. Okay. And what is the idea of must? I think in Spanish is like tenes que. Okay, similar. That's pretty good. Pretty good. That's the idea. Cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Number two, cyclists must be required to wear a helmet. Very good. The first sentence is an opinion, whereas sentence number two is absolutely necessary. It's pretty much a law. Hi, I want you to give me one reason for and one against about the following ideas. The students should not be allowed to translate or speak their native language in class. Type your reasons on our discussion box. Okay, so those are the words that we're going to learn today to use. Should, shouldn't, ought to, must, have, got to, or have to. So here we have several different words, okay? Let's take a moment and read. Let's see to make sure we have the instructions correct. Luis Fernando, can you please read? Yes, instructions. Complete the sentences positively or negatively. Point. Use the verbs in parentheses along with a model. Point. Not capital letters or periods are needed. Thank you very much. So we are going to use the words in parentheses. For example, here the word allow, but also we need to put in the correct model. The models were the ones that we just learned. What were the models? Here. Hi, I think English to be required to end. Models should, shouldn't, ought to, must, mustn't, has to, and has got to. Those are the different models you're going to use with the vocabulary to complete the eight sentences with your partner. It's okay what we're going to do? Okay. Yes. Okay. So with our partner, let's try it. Gladys?
Sí, porque el que también es muy importante. ¿Pasó? 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 No, también me voy a Okay, let's take a look and make sure that everybody had the correct answer. You ready? What is number one? What was number one? She'll be alone. Okay. Shouldn't be alone. Ah, okay. Better, right? Because the people are driving, they shouldn't be allowed. Look at the verb. Always the verb is past participle in here right they should not be allowed no is allowed okay what about number two must not be permitted okay must not be permitted wow okay what about number three She'll be allowed. Read the sentence. Companies should be. Oh, she'll be required. Ah, better. Okay. Should be required. Maybe, maybe. It's a good idea. Excuse me, teacher. But, but I but I consider the the correct answer is uh, must be required. 
Okay, why must be for you and not should be? Because um, there are, there's a, a need in the sentence in my, from my view. Okay, yeah, remember, should is opinion, must is the law, things are, are obligations. Good idea. What about number four? Shouldn't be allowed. Okay. Shouldn't be. Allowed. Allowed, all right. Number five. Must not be permitted. Okay. Good, number six. Must be passed. Oh. Okay, number seven. Must be permit. Must be? Permit. Okay, remember is with past participle, permitted. Ah, okay, excuse me. Good, good, good. no, it's good. And the last one, number eight. Should be done. Shall be done. Okay. Oops. Should be done. Great. So we have a very good idea. Now we can check to see how we did. And you can see amazing, right? Here, must be permitted is also correct. The same for should here must be passed, okay, the same here, for not permitted, have got, oh, look, must be permitted. I think I agree with you. Oh, here's the other, must not, we forgot the verb be, must not be permitted. Mm -hmm. And the same for number four was correct. Okay. Number three, we can use another different words, but the same idea. Number two, very nice. Only we are missing the verb be, must not be. I forgot to write it. Thank you. And then here, should not be. Great. Teacher. So, yes. Um. In my in my case, the the num uh, the sentence number five. Um, the answer, the correct answer in my in my case is must be permitted. That is okay. Here is one of and the options. In your in your case, um, I can see must not be permitted. Correct. You see here <laughs> in the blue, must be, and for me, must not be. You can also have should not be, shouldn't be, or should be. Depend on your opinion for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because here- There are many of- Yes, Gladys, that's right. There are many options because it's not about your ideas. Is about what is correct grammatically. So, for example, for you, it's good to have guns, pa, 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 should be or must be. If for you it's not good, must not be, like in number six. So, for me, must not, must be, maybe for someone else, maybe the negative, must not be. It's the grammar that we are checking. It's okay, the ideas? It's okay, teacher. Okay, great. Gladys, can you please read the instructions? Of course. In this class, participants will be introduced to tag questions for opinion. Okay, so we're gonna look at your opinion and how to use tag questions. Tag questions is about checking information, okay? For example, here, 
is a tag question. The difference is that we put the question at the end. We're gonna watch a small video and see how to make tag questions. Ready to keep on learning? Great. Pay attention to the use of tag questions for opinions. Health insurance, childcare bills, rent. Now that I'm going to school and only working part-time, I have a hard time making ends meet. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Yeah. My company used to pay for it when I was working full-time. And childcare isn't cheap, is it? No, it's not. After I pay for rent and groceries, almost all my money goes to pay for my son's daycare. Colleges should provide free daycare for students with children. I think so, too. But they don't have any services like that at my school. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What is Todd concerned about? Okay. First, let's look. Are there any words that you don't know? Insurance. 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 Uh -huh. Insurance is, for example, Ace Suiza or Macfi. This is oh, insurance. Oh. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other words? Okay, let's listen. What happens next? Okay. Yes, Carlos. Uh, what is the pronunciation? the exactly pronunciation of the word groceries. Groceries. Okay. Groceries. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay. Oh, two but they don't have any services like that at my school. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What is Todd concerned about? Type your answers on our discussion box. Oh, listen to me. I'm always complaining, aren't I? Anyway, how are things with you? Oh, not bad, but I'm still not sure what I'm going to do after I graduate. Yeah, it's hard to find a job these days, isn't it? It's not that. I'm just not sure if going to law school was the right thing to do. What do you mean? I only have a few more months before I graduate, and now I'm wondering why I did this. I don't want to be a lawyer. It all seems like a waste of time now. So what are you going to do? Well, I'd like to move to Mexico and open a coffee shop, but I think my parents would flip. Okay, what does Todd say? Listen to me, I'm all... Okay, what else does Todd talk about? Well, she told him that only talk about her. So ask, ask him about his life. And he told her about that he is studying low but it is something that he don't like he wants a cafeteria i i think i heard about that but he think that his parents won't be a core with that. Okay, good, pretty really good. That's most of it. That's right, Gladys. He's thinking that he was going to school, but maybe mm, to be a lawyer is not a good decision. And he he's thinking about something else. Great. So what are we going to do? In this moment, we have this conversation in Sorry. Yes. Uh 
the person, the conversation said a word at the end. He said, my father will be flipped, something like that. Let's listen. What are you going to do? Well, I'd like to move to Mexico and open a coffee shop, but I think my parents would flip. Okay. Uh, what mean that? Flip means go crazy. Can you spell the word? Flip. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Thank so he says, my parents will flip. My parents will go crazy if I go to Mexico. Okay. So now, what are we going to do with our partners? We're going to practice the conversation. One time Sarah and Todd, and then change the role. Then Todd and Sarah. It's okay? Okay. Perfect. So we're going to try it with our partners. Hopefully nobody has problems with the internet. And let's try together. Okay, any questions about the vocabulary, 
or the conversation. Teacher. Yeah, Lillian? No, I, I understand. Okay, great. Now here in the conversation, we have tags. These are the names. The names are question tags or tag questions. So what are they? The idea is to check. Okay, for rent and so when you look at it at the end, you're going to see the words, for example, isn't it, is it, do they, do you? These are the ideas for the questions. It's only to check information. So normally you can not ask questions, but you check. For example, I say, Gladys, you are married. Like a sentence, you are married. And then the tag, aren't you? <laughs> Gladys, you are married, aren't you? I'm not. Exactly. That's it. Is only use the tag to check information. I think, I believe, and that's what we use. So in this moment, we're going to have four exercises that we're going to complete with our partner. In the chat, you can see them. Please remember to hang on. Can I, I add some comment? Yes. Well, I I I realized that if the first question is in positive, the next is in negative, and vice versa. That is correct. So it always has to be like a car battery. Positive, negative, negative, positive. Always, you have to have one in one, just like the car battery. So in the chat, you have four exercises to help you practice the tags. Okay. Everybody has the four links open? Wait, teacher, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Now, yes. Yes, all right, excellent. Carlos, did you join the group? <laughs> I think. Glad I don't know. It's gone, but, but it's, it's gone. I don't know why. The internet, you lost the signal. But, let me check. Carlos?
Okay. Is it it's okay the idea for tag questions? Yes, teacher. Is is better to understand? Okay, so excellent. Remember the important, like Gladys mentioned, a good tip is always if the sentence positive, the tag negative. If the sentence is negative, the tag is positive. It's always a balance, positive and negative, one part and the other, okay? Yes, teacher. Excellent. We're going to pause. Tomorrow we're going to continue. And we have three more days to complete the, all of the units and the exam. So have a nice night and tomorrow we continue. Have a nice night. Bye. Bye-bye.